topic of oil drilling in Alaska. Here are some reasons why we will debate the drilling in Alaska. Alaska inland and offshore is very rich in energy reserve. The North Slope and Cook Inlet Basins and Prudhoe Bay are full of crude oil deposits. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline brings us to the surface more than 2 million barrels of oil each day. Alternatively, the coal deposits supply the nation with bituminous, lignite and sub-bituminous coal basins. This region does not only offer very high hydroelectric power potential, but also equally dynamic generation of wind energy and geothermal energy. The effects of oil drilling and extensive industrialization within this otherwise serene and unpolluted region have taken a toll on resource and quality of life. Tonight I'll be taking an industrial standpoint on this debate and therefore I'll be discussing some of the pros of oil drilling in Alaska. And I, however, will take a non-industrial standpoint. Uh, to start off with one of our main pros of oil drilling in Alaska, uh, there's a generation of huge amounts of hydroelectric, ge geothermal and wind energy resources for the whole entire nation. Kevin, I understand what you're saying, but here are some cons you might want to consider. There are a number of cons that are easily recognized within regards to oil drilling in Alaska. The following include extensive pollution of the inland areas, otherwise known for scenic beauty, due to drilling processes that generate waste material and oil spills. Yes. Um, however, there's, a huge, there's an extraction of huge quantities of crude, natural oil and gas, also for the entire nation, as well as creating surplus that we are able to export. I understand, but pollution of transportation inland as well as along the coast, this is mainly due to leakages and consistent drilling for oil other than the established sites. And we also have an extraction of huge amounts of coal, which is a major industrial requirement for our nation. Yes, but you may want to consider the gradual increase in the population due to the employment opportunities generated. This is true, but promotion of employment opportunities that come up with drilling and related industries is very important, especially in our nation's crisis, as there are many, many losses of jobs. And what about the gradual damage to the natural ecosystem, wildlife and terrain arising out of overuse of available resources? This is something that is very hard to control and we are very aware of that. However, we also have a promotion of allied industries like shipping and transportation and subsequent increase in access, access to the regions. Yes, but lastly, a gradual decline of dedicated ecotourism revenue and increase in business propositions is something you might want to consider. That is true, but now that we both understand each other and we both uh, debated this topic on some pros and cons, why don't we uh, discuss the effects of oil drilling? Yes, you. But here, apart from the cons of drilling in Alaska, are some effects of oil drilling in Alaska. Listen carefully. The effects of oil drilling and the subsequent extraction of natural gas and coal include the following. First point, the political controversy about whether or not to continue with the extensive drilling for oil reserves in Alaska has been a part of Democrat and Republic debates and a point of contention through election cycles. Second point, the deterioration of wilderness in the face of revenue-driven management of oil and gas exploitation has encroached upon the natural carving ground of porcupine caribou. The last point is the screening of frozen federal lands. Hundreds of millions of Alaskan wilderness acres, commercial activity and filibusters have been challenged and revised time and time again. This has made it mandatory for the coastal plain area to be consistently evaluated to geological and seismic exploration. Yes, John, all those points are very well taken and understood, however, I think that they are easily overlooked while looking into the, the future of our nation and taking into account all the, the natural resources that Alaska has to offer. And sorry with that having been said, uh, our time is up here. Thank you for tuning into our debate. And uh, again, I'm Kevin Jones, John Ritchie, and stay tuned. See you next time. Hold up.